What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. So today's title, Five Reasons God Isolates You. Let's get into it. Number one, God renews your mind. See, when I first came to the Heavenly Father, you know, and just wanted to learn more of his ways, I had a terrible way of thinking because you only know what to do based upon what you grew up in. In other words, we become our environment. And the mindset I had was from the environment I grew up in. So when I went through my season of isolation, that's when the Heavenly Father started breaking bad habits that I had. I used to drink, smoke, and, you know, do worldly things. But because I was in my season of isolation, I started recognizing, okay, it's time to let certain stuff go. The reason why the Heavenly Father renews your mind is to let go of pride, envy, anything that's pertaining to the flesh so you can learn how to live in the spirit. See, we must develop a Christ-like mindset if we hope to fulfill the will of God. And that's why the Heavenly Father will take you through a season of isolation, to take you away from the land of familiar, because sometimes we only know how to do what we grew up in. So the Heavenly Father has to renew your mind and you must be born again during the isolation in order to learn the ways of Lord Jesus. So the Heavenly Father has to renew your mind. And the best way to do it is when you're in isolation because now you no longer have that influence to steer you wrong to lead you down the path of destruction. That leads me to number two, break bad habits. See, when the Heavenly Father starts to renew your mind, that's what's gonna give us the strength to break bad habits because through Christ, we are made new. So we got to go through isolation also in order to break bad habits because sometimes the people we hang around the people we continue to keep in our circle are the ones that's influencing the bad habits. And the hardest thing to do is to let go of people that you grew up with. And sometimes when the Heavenly Father is transforming who you are as a person, it's no fun. It's no fun. Because you literally got to learn how to live again. The very thing that was a part of your routine at one point in time is now something you must let go of because you're becoming a part of the body of Christ. And that routine just so happened to be attached to a bad habit. You know, you might got a routine before you get ready to go to a party or a routine when you hang it with the homies, you know, a routine when you're listening to certain music and stuff of that nature. And we all know sometimes our routines can be very bad habits, like smoking and drinking, fornicating, all types of stuff. So the Heavenly Father will help you break those bad habits. The more you spend time with the Heavenly Father and working on you and his relationship. Number three, developing discernment. The more you learn about the character of God, the more you increase in your discernment. And we also must pray for discernment. See, that's another reason why we go through isolation. Because when you're in the wilderness, guess what you're doing? You're learning about the character of God. And you're learning his ways. And when you start to apply godly habits to your own life, when you start to live in the ways of Christ, that's how you develop discernment. 
because now you're learning how to identify between good and evil. See, it's some stuff we do that we're unaware of. We don't even know it's something that we're doing that's separating us away from God. Because we have grown accustomed to it. It's a part of our daily lives. But through Christ, we find new identity. And in that new identity comes discernment. We get discernment from the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost of God. When we pray without ceasing, the more we read the word, the more we apply godly principles to our life. And when you see somebody operating outside of the will of God, when they're not living in these godly principles, and don't get me wrong, we ain't going to always get it right. But at the same time, it gives us a general idea of how to live through Christ, because Christ is the one who called us back to the righteousness of God. When Lord Jesus just, you know, laid his life down. But when you see somebody operating outside of the will of God, when that person isn't operating within the same domain, then you know this person is operating out of wickedness. So that's why we go through the wilderness, because the Heavenly Father is showing us what stuff really looks like. Because when he isolates you and you're in the wilderness, that's separating you from this worldly system. So the stuff that you used to think normal, now you realize it's a plot from the enemy. The enemy really is trying to isolate God out of your life. So he wants you to be selfish. He wants you to do everything that this world has to offer. Instead of live in the spirit, he wants you to live in the flesh. So the heavenly father will isolate you from those problems in order to increase your discernment. And the more you learn the character of God, that's how you increase in discernment. And also pray for it too. Pray for, pray for wisdom and understanding so you can be able to identify when certain things are wrong and certain things that you might used to do that was wrong that you didn't know it was wrong at the time. Pray for these things. Number four, increase spiritual strength. When God has chosen you to do his will, he will isolate you in order for you to grow spiritually. Because a lot of times our environment is the very thing that's hindering us from growing spiritually. It can keep us down. It can keep us in a dark place. And sometimes people don't want to experience new. So they keep themselves in a certain environment because that's what they're used to. But in order to grow spiritually, one must be uncomfortable. God will take you out of your comfort zone. And I spoke about this probably a couple of days ago, but you got to be uncomfortable in order to grow spiritually. Because think about it, when you're in an uncomfortable situation, it's going to require you to have faith. It's going to require you to develop a stronger relationship with the Heavenly Father by reading the word, fasting, praying without ceasing. And it's going to require you to let certain things go, like certain activities that you might be a part of or certain friends that goes against kind of what you're trying to do. You know, you might be trying to live the opposite of what they're doing. So you might got to let certain friends go. And once all these things start to take place, you're going to grow spiritually. You're going to develop spiritual strength from the most high God in the name of Jesus. See, another reason why we must increase in spiritual strength is because the devil is going to try to use fleshly desires in order to try to take you off the course that the Heavenly Father has you on. He's going to attack your flesh and he's going to attack your mind. But the more you increase 
and spiritual strength, the more you develop a seal of protection. In other words, we got to put on the full armor of God at all times. We got to have that on at all times. So, yeah, the Heavenly Father will isolate you so that you increase in spiritual strength. That brings me to my last one. Number five, to answer your calling. We need a renewed mind to break bad habits. And once we break those bad habits, we start to develop discernment. And when we develop discernment, guess what? We increase spiritually. When you put all these things together, now you're ready to answer the call of God. See, we got to go through a season of isolation in order to be ready to answer the call of God. That's why the Heavenly Father will take us through the wilderness, because he's preparing you to be a leader. He's literally getting you ready to do something. That's great. That only you can do. You was born for a time such as this. Those are the reasons why God will isolate you. And then another thing, too. Sometimes the Heavenly Father isolates you in plain sight of the people you around. Have you ever noticed people sometimes seem like they looking past you or looking through you? Well, that's because the Heavenly Father is hiding you in plain sight. There is favor upon your life. And then when you finally get to a place to where it's time to answer that call, that calling that the Heavenly Father has over your life, guess what? It's going to be too late. But it's like that for a reason, though, because sometimes the Heavenly Father don't want you to get too attached to people that's going to try to take you off the course that the Heavenly Father has you on. That also happens. The enemy will try to use anybody he can to try to discourage you from answering the call of God. So that's why the Heavenly Father take us through the isolation season. But these are five reasons why God isolates you. I pray this video bless you and I pray you have a lovely day. I love y'all in Jesus name. Amen.